let's take a complete tour of the All-Star Movies Resort at Walt Disney World, both the exterior part of it as well as a tour of the rooms. Let's go. To start off, All-Star Movies Resort is a value resort at Disney World, which makes it in the most affordable category. And as you would likely guess from the name, it is themed after the movies. So that can be everything from the 101 Dalmatians to Toy Story. The whimsical, larger-than-life icons throughout the resort make it super fun and colorful. As you pull up to All-Star Movies, the first thing you will see is the main building called Cinema Hall. Within this building, you will find super handy things that you can make use of throughout your trip. That obviously includes the front desk, as well as the well-themed world premiere food court. the Donald's Double Feature Shop, the Real Fun Arcade, and a place to buy or exchange fuel rods. And just outside the main entrance, you will find Bell Services, which you can use to pick up packages or have them store your luggage. Right on the back of the building, you will see that there is the Silver Screen Spirits Pool Bar, which is very handy to access from the main pool, which is located here. Beyond this main building and main pool area, you will find buildings themed to different movies. That includes 101 Dalmatians, Fantasia, Mighty Ducks, Love Bug, and Toy Story. There are 24-hour laundry rooms located near some of the quiet pools, as well as dry cleaning services available on site if you need it. Those looking to stay at this resort will have a choice of booking a standard or preferred room. The only difference is the buildings that they are located in. The preferred rooms are in the buildings closest to the main building, which gives you access to all the amenities there, as well as being closer to transportation. Within the standard or preferred rooms, you do have a choice of a king bed or the more common layout, which is a queen bed and a table bed that folds down. This layout is being put into most of the value resorts and it really allows you to maximize the storage as well as having queen beds instead of full-size beds. There is a lot of storage underneath the bed, drawers, things like that, allowing you to make the best use of what is a relatively small amount of space. You might think that a fold-down bed wouldn't be super comfortable, but it feels just like a normal bed, and we've been super pleased during our stays. The only issue that we have had with this new layout is that the theming isn't very specific. It looks pretty much the same across all the resorts that have these kind of rooms. There are some recreation options at this resort, including a playground that is located between the Fantasia and Toy Story sections. You can use a running trail that is located out near the main road. And you should always check the recreation schedule, which has a lot of different activities that you can enjoy, including movies under the stars, where they show a movie outside each evening, and campfires, which in this case are located behind the Fantasia pool. What about the transportation at All Star Movies? Well, if you plan to take Disney transportation, then you will be taking buses. The buses here are sometimes shared with the other All Star resorts, but sometimes they are direct between this resort and the parks and Disney Springs. If you happen to have your own car, you can expect to pay $15 a day for self-parking. The only walking available here is if you happen to want to walk to the other all-star resorts. If you're interested in using Rideshare, there are options in the Rideshare apps to specify a pickup or drop-off location that is close to your building if you want to. However, we have found it more convenient just to specify the main building because that tends to be easier for the drivers. So what do we think of the All-Star Movers Resort? We have been able to stay here multiple times and have always enjoyed our stays. We find it to be a super affordable 
and fun themed resort because the large icons are super colorful and we think this is especially suited for families with young kids. The refurbished rooms, while not being the best themed rooms, they are really great at maximizing what is the smallest room size on property. On the downside are the small rooms, so if you want more space, that will be a con here. And the resort itself is very spread out. If you want to avoid a lot of walking to and from your room, you could splurge on a preferred room, which will put you closer to the front of the resort and all of the main amenities. Another downside could be the buses because they are sometimes shared between the all-star resorts and all-star movies is often the last of the resorts to be picked up or dropped off when the buses are shared. Overall, not a bad resort to stay at at all. We think anybody who stays here will enjoy their time. It's really ideally suited for families with young kids who want to keep their trip as affordable as possible. 